Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Monday, 10 January, sponsored by Keystone and National Championship Day, Roll Tide. Here are the stories making news. On Friday, Acuity reported their first quarter earnings. I found it interesting that their cost of goods sold was up 17%. Now that tells me they're doing what is needed to keep the components flowing. In their conference call, CEO Neil Ash says they are not yet realizing all of the benefits of their price increase. Interesting. We now have the official announcement from Endeavor Business Media regarding the retirement of our good friend, Maury Wright. Maury was a tremendous editor, and wait till you see his replacement. We think she will do a great job. We did not attend CES last week, but Edison Report links to an article by Digital Trends, the best smart lights at CES. Light-in Building has finally made their announcement postponing their 2022 show until the second half of the year. We think that's a good decision, especially because it conflicted with Legication. Can you see the stars at night? Global Night is an opportunity to engage people worldwide and observe the nighttime sky. Details at designinglighting.com. IES is now seeking speakers for the Street and Area Lighting Conference 10 through 13 October in Dallas. Lightline has an opportunity for a regional sales manager. So does Electric Mirror. Details on Edison Report. Acuity end of the day on Friday with less than a 2% gain, which I think has more to do with the market in general than with Acuity. They had been up almost 4% early Friday. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great week.